Uh, boys and our toys. <laughs> you want to see how you can wire up your traffic light if you're in the market for one, if you find one and it doesn't have a controller to do the sequence. This is your video. I'm going to show you what to do, how to do it, where you can get the control unit, all that because I found it through somebody else on YouTube. So I'm going to share it with you. I'm Rick and this Heck up, you stinking boosters. Grab that for your sanity! <laughs> this is the shack. Hey everybody, welcome. Hey, if you're new to the channel, first time stopping by, thank you so much, seriously, for taking some of your valuable time out to view. Today we got a quick little video. We're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, you know us men, we like our gadgets, we like our toys. They just get more expensive as we get older. <laughs> or boys that just never grow up. We still like our toys. There are some things that are like iconic and to me, if you have a man cave, you have your shop, you almost need a traffic light. <laughs> I just like them, they're cool. I've wanted one for years, but they were a little expensive. I kept my eye out, I am patient, and I came across a deal I couldn't pass up. Fortunately, when I called the gentleman, he had like six available, I got the last one. Perfect. Also threw in an additional crosswalk signal. So I got the hands, the hand for stop, and I got the stick figure walking. Pretty cool, I checked that out, that one works. So what I'm gonna do, if you have one or if you find one and you're not too certain, because I was, I'm like, how am I gonna wire this up? Because mine, it is huge, it is metal, but it has been upgraded with the newer style LED light. Um, so I wasn't sure how I even wire these things up, so I found a channel and I'll, I don't remember the name of it, something garage. I'll have a link below if you want to check it out. Uh, I don't care if they're small channels, big channels. If they got something that I use, I appreciate that. So I'll give them a shout out. But he had one, he wired up, and I was like, I didn't even know this was available. This is me, I didn't know this. Thank goodness for the internet, we have so much information available, sometimes too much, but it's there. So I was like, oh, no way, they actually have those, because I know the cities have the big boards that do all the timing, change the light stuff. I'm like, I need something like that, but on a smaller scale. Yep, I found one. So, in my hot little hand right here, we got it. And I will put a link below. It's the same link to the uh, place that the person that I watched on video bought it from. They are good. I think he said he paid like 30 bucks, a little under 30. Um, Free shipping taxes, and, to, and this is 2021. I paid $32.31. And this is from uh, Gallic Electronics. I think they're in Maryland. Free shipping. This is it. Nice little board. They have some heavier duty ones if you have the uh, still incandescent light because they draw a lot of wattage. So the electronics are massive on it. But being these are LED, they don't draw that much. I don't need that. This should be fine. I saw his work, it was fine. So I am ready to do mine. So let's get over. I am, it really, I cleaned out a little bit, but it's not very, very clean yet. I haven't really detailed it, but I'm not going to repaint it or nothing. I want to keep it kind of the rustic used look. It's fine. Just want to get the cobwebs and dust out of the inside, but I want to make sure everything works. So let's get over to it. I'll show you the dimensions and you can see it. I'm going to open it up, it's a little bit dirty. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to mount this. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe and ring the ding, 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 that bell down there so you're notified when the videos do come out because I will be doing a video on mounting that, getting it all set up, and I'll do a complete video. This video is strictly, mainly for this electronic piece. We just want to make sure it works. The timing and everything all works, so let's get over to it and I'm going to let you check it out. Okay, I am. Unfortunately, I have a big 
a build going on that's actually taken almost a full stall. Uh, I got two projects laid on the floor right now, so I don't have a lot of room because I got to get those finished. But I don't know what you'd call this. The outside, this is the light itself, but you have the framing, shielding, whatever around the edges. Uh, that is actually almost 53, look like 53 and a half by 24. So it's huge. This is my little outlet I use. I'm going to plug into it so I can have power. So I'm going to flip this over and I'll let you see the front. And, we'll, and we have to open up from the front and I'll get to it. So just want to let you see kind of what the back is. Full size traffic signal light. Nothing small about this. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, the pole that this would go on is a two and a half inch diameter, outer diameter, OD pipe that fits in here. Okay, just so you can know, these are 12 inch diameter. They're huge. And uh, they're just, they actually, they have like a rivet, but it is missing on this one. It's come loose, so I may re-rivet those. But, let's see, I'll open this up. Because the control should be here. I'm going to take these all off, clean everything up real well. And there's, I don't know if you can see it all. There's all the electronics right here. I'll reposition the camera. These are all your wires. This one's coming down here from the green light. So white is always your common. Brown is the green wire. Actually, yellow goes to yellow, and red goes to red. So green is the only one that's not color coordinated, that's actually brown. So what I'm going to do, because I have the electronic unit, I'm going to get rid of all these other wires here I don't need, because everything is going to be tied into that. So that will give me some room to work. So let me undo these. I've got all these wires off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the back here. I'm going to yank these out, except for the white wire. I want to pull the white wire from this side in so I can pull my uh, power cable into here to hook up temporarily. Or maybe I can yank these out. Oh, there we go. Yank those out. And let me hook up the white wire so I can pull my short little plug in just temporarily. I want power. So let me hook that up back here and I'll pull it through. I'm going to just tape all these on that. I don't have a lot of room, so it's got to be a little bit tight. There we go. Just a, I mean, you just got to go a little bit, but there. That way I can have that go through and I can get it through there. All right. So if, if I've done this right, I'll help it through the back. I'll guide it through. And I'm going to pull that. There it is. Yeah, see how easy that was? <laughs> oh. Take this out. Haven't had it out yet. Brand spanking new. Wasn't supposed to show up till Monday and it showed up Saturday. So I am pleasantly surprised. Yay. There. So that's what it looks like. Nice little electronics and they've actually they said they updated some of these from when the video that I watched. So these are newer and the supposedly improved electronics, which is cool. I have no problem with that. That's fine. Uh, your power, power goes in here and then your three color. So I got to find another a place to mount this. Okay, I was reading through this and I think the way I'm going to wire it up is with separate neutrals, and that's basically how this board comes. Each light has its own neutral with the neutral coming in. So I think I'm going to keep it that way. So that means that junction box, it comes out. I don't even need it. So I'm going to take the junction box out, cut the connectors off all of them. I'm going to wire it for each individual light, and I got the individual uh, hot and neutral coming in here and again I'm gonna have to take my green wire and ground it out somewhere like this but this way I don't have to worry about grinding that out right now I just get it hooked up make sure it works 
and then we're going to be good to go. Headed, flat head. This is perfect. They fit in here perfectly. So I'm going to make sure these are all up. They're good. So let's see. Doesn't say. So on here, this is red light. So I want red. Uh, let's see which one's common. So the red light goes common, then red. I don't see if there's a I don't see anything on it that says which is which so but the it says this is common and then you got your color that one then red yellow will be next so I want the yellow wires right here so I want the common wire so it goes Common first, and then the color. So we got yellow common, and then yellow itself. Finally, uh, green, and that is the brown. So we want common first. Again, these have all been converted over to LED. These are the new style, so I don't need these massive power supplies, transformers, and all that stuff in here because they pull very, very low wattage, LEDs do. Okay, so that's all them. This is black, this is common. So let's see, the black goes up here. They're, the guys are pretty good. Uh, they shipped out very, very fast. And it was not supposed to be here till Monday. It's again in Maryland. I figured it'd take a week or so. And shh, I think in a few days it was here. Very, very surprising. Just for temporarily, I want to make sure it works, make sure this works. Uh, I have it zip tied to a piece of wood sitting up here so that it won't touch the metal. I have it grounded just temporarily to a screw on side of the signal here. Um, but I guess this little one up here, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little button here, it's program, and this one here is yellow light. So. You can scroll through 31 different sequences. I want to keep it traditional, so I want to keep it where it goes from red to green to yellow back to red. So you can scroll through this. The top one here, you have two little buttons on the top. That is your program. And you can set the duration of the yellow light with the one below. This is your yellow delay. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm glad I read again. I, did, I must have skimmed over this, didn't catch it the first time. So. There's a little thing right here. It's called the VR1 duration. You turn this clockwise all the way. And once you turn it on, it should be the red light first, then the green, then the yellow. This actually is the duration for the red and green. So you can turn it on. Everything would go one second. And you, can change, you can dial that, I guess, counterclockwise till it gets to where you want. The yellow is automatically one second and you have this yellow delay here, every time you click that, it adds a second up to eight seconds maximum. So it'll only come up for eight seconds. So that's pretty cool. So I guess it'll be 30, 30, and then eight. So with that, let me make sure this is turned all the way, what is it again? Counterclockwise. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it is counterclockwise all the way. So, Everything looks good. Let's plug it in and see if it works. My extension cord here, and just plug this in, and hopefully I don't get shocked. Oh, it came on red, green, yellow. Whoo, they all work. Nice. So, let me do my duration here. See if I can get these longer. So I'm gonna go clockwise. 
There we go. Ooh, I like that. Well, I timed it. I'm about 12 seconds, which was good. So I'm going to keep it at 10 seconds. I may adjust a little bit more. But basically, it's 12 seconds for the red, 12 for the green, and uh, 2 seconds for the yellow, which is great. That's perfect. So I know it works. <laughs> this is cool. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Ring the ding 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 that bell down there. Yellow. So you're notified when this video comes out. When I get this, completely take it apart, clean it, get this programmer set in there properly, wired up, complete, finito, and mount it on something so we can set it in my man cave or in the shop. I'm going to make it work. It's kind of universal right now. That's cool. I'm glad this works. So again, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. So when I do the complete rent renovation, but I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to clean it up. I like the used rustic look, uh, but how I'm going to mount this and what it's going to look like with this inside mounted properly. Again, don't blow up the comment section. Even though there's only going to be about 30 people to watch this, don't blow up the comment section saying that's screwed up, you don't do it that way. That's temporary. I just want to make sure this works and it does and it's cool. You know us boys, <laughs> it's like the world goes on hold when we get a new toy. We don't care what's going on, we're going to go play with it first. So yeah, that's cool. It works. I like it. Everything's on. The lights up here worked. The green is on. Yellow clicks on. The red timer. I can just a little bit because it's 12 seconds. I may go down to 10. I don't know. We'll just see. But I like it. That's two seconds for the yellow and back to red. So yeah, this is cool. If you're in the market for a signal light and you get one and you want to be able to do this to it, keep your eye out. Be patient because I will not tell you what I paid because you will be You'll be mad and your jaws will drop to the ground because I'm telling you right now, these average $300 and I got it for a ridiculous price, not even a third of that price. Plus, I got a crosswalk signal thrown in. Yeah, be patient, be diligent. I've been looking at these for the last year and a half and I almost pulled the trigger. I waited. I'm glad I did because this is cool and it's huge and it's metal, not plastic. But whatever you decide you get, if you want the sequence controller, check in the description below. So with that, thanks again for watching me. Let's take back your hell for your sanity. <sighs> Let's go have some fun with our toys, boys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next video.